Hello, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're embarking on an unusual and intriguing experiment that started with some stale bread I had saved for this time lapse. It had been sitting around for at least a month, possibly two. As you can see, I've placed the bread in a bowl of tap water. Unsurprisingly, it quickly started soaking up the water, becoming soggy. But trust me, things are about to get a lot more fascinating. This is actually my second attempt at this experiment, as my first try suffered from a few technical hiccups with the camera. Fortunately, with round two I noticed a peculiar occurrence. Here's where the real mystery began. In both attempts, something happened. Something that immediately caught my attention. Tiny red dots began to appear on the bread. Naturally, I couldn't help but wonder, what could they be? After some research, I discovered that these red dots are connected to a culprit that has a name, the drugstore beetle. His Latin name is Stegobium panaceum, but it is also known as the bread beetle, biscuit beetle, or misnamed as the biscuit weevil. These tiny insects are notorious for infesting dry foods like bread, flour, and spices. Their larvae have an impressive ability to remain dormant in dry conditions for extended periods, essentially waiting for the perfect moment to spring back to life. When you add water, you create an ideal environment for activity to resume, which may explain the appearance of those mysterious red dots. Fun fact, turns out, this little guy made a surprise cameo in one of my previous videos. At the time I didn't know what it was, but thanks to this video I was able to make the connection. Maybe check out the egg video next. So, what exactly is the drugstore beetle? This small, brown beetle gets its name from its historical presence in pharmacies, where it used to feast on dried herbs and medicines. The adult beetles are about 2 to 3 millimeters long, with a cylindrical shape and distinct ridged wing covers. While they're not dangerous to humans, their larvae can wreak havoc on dry foods by burrowing through and contaminating them with waste. The red dots you saw are actually fecal pellets or remnants of beetle activity, which only become visible when the bread gets wet. And if you look closely, you'll even spot some tiny larvae moving about, an eerie but fascinating reminder that even the most unassuming, dried-out bread can host life, waiting for just the right conditions to thrive. What began as a light-hearted time-lapse project has turned into an unexpected biology lesson, revealing the hidden world of insects that often goes unnoticed. So, the next time you find a forgotten loaf of bread in the back of your pantry, maybe think twice before experimenting with it. Or, better yet, prepare yourself for a science adventure of your own. Let's take another look at it, but more closely. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more science-inspired content, and share your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if there's an odd experiment or a quirky time lapse you'd like me to try next. Thanks for watching and remember, science is everywhere, even in a stale piece of months old bread.